try to keep the ball out of his hands. And let's try to defend as good as we can. Paige Patterson and Matt Powell, both 15-year-olds from Snyder, would be the water basketball underdogs. What they had in hustle, they lacked in height. Strickland, he ought to have a pretty big advantage. His height, because the goals aren't going to be that high, so just had to go see. Matt and Paige call themselves the SWAT team. We would soon find out why. Steve and I would not be intimidated by these short high school sophomores. You're the big man, so I'll just try to post up underneath you, and I'll get you some lob passes and take advantage of the height. Uh, that's, that's the best thing we can do. Good afternoon, sport fans, and welcome to the beautiful Snyder Country Club for this afternoon's unique water basketball game between the K-Texas team, Channel 12 and Abilene, of Gary Strickland and Steve Strain. The visitors, our hometown team made up of Matt Powell and... Paige Patterson, here's Matt Powell. Here's Paige Patterson. A good old game of basketball was nothing new for the K-Texans team, even though this one would be all wet. So it looks like K-Texas has the height, and maybe Matt and Paige have a little bit of the quickness. We'll find out in just a minute. One thing about us playing in Snyder, Matt and Paige had the home pool advantage. What do you think? Are we strict or straight or which one? Uh, SWAT team. SWAT team. <laughs> well, no, we got a lot of height on our team, though. I'm sorry, but they're a little older and a little bigger and a little heavier. <laughs> Ten minutes, four minutes, six minutes, a dollar. Baskets are one. You can't play a good basketball game without a good referee. No traveling when you jump up and don't shoot, that's traveling. No charging. So it would be a game by ones all the way up to 25. This was going to be interesting. Foul, they strained the ball over to Patterson. We figured both Paige and Matt would hit from the outside, but for some reason they had a real good inside game. Matt and Paige got the first four baskets of the game. This was not good. Slammed up by Gary Strickland. Steve and I were still playing catch up as the first half was winding down. The SWAT team had a 12 to 8 lead. Steve and I would regroup. Okay, you two right here, then you come back over here, then you come back over here, then you throw it inside to him, and then you put it in, and you dunk it over that. It okay? doesn't work that way. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds Close like... your eyes this time and do it. <laughs> it sounds like it should work like that, but it doesn't. See, because when, when I get over here, all of a sudden they're there. <laughs> You're sucking air over there, what you're doing. <laughs> I think our, our quickness is sort of taking effect on it. Here, 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 here. When the second half began, Steve and I felt like warriors on the water. We took the lead. And the big question, could we hold on to it? The SWAT team fought their way back. This would be a close finish. The SWAT team kept coming back strong, and they were digging deep. They tied it up 24 to 24. Next basket wins. It would be one for the book. Paige Patterson and Matt Powell. They had the lead, lost it, regained it, then pulled it out 25 to 24. Oh, we knew it all along. We knew they were going to win all along. Even when they got down, you were, you were still? Even when they got down, we were all behind them. 
Steve and I came up short. It was a victory for the SWAT team in their home waters.